OCO. Thank y'all for tuning in to another requested video. As I always like to express in all my other videos, I am not here to turn non-believers into believers. I'm only here to bring y'all food for thought. And with that being said, your opinion is your opinion. Let's get right down to it. Let me just start this off by saying I find it very interesting that the same individuals that comment under my Barry videos get really mad when I post videos regarding their hero Trump and then leave comments like, you told the truth all the way up to this point, I will never watch your channel again. That's very interesting. Why would I start to lie if I've been telling the truth this whole time? Some of your heroes aren't really the people y'all think they are. They are literally villains just hidden in plain sight. Some individuals still tend to think that Trump is very innocent. Yes, he may have done certain things for individuals and certain people and this and that, but that doesn't take from the fact that he still is a part of the agenda. He still is a part of the brotherhood and he still is one of these same individuals. So if you don't got nothing good to say, please keep it to yourself. If you don't agree with my channel, just unfollow. You don't have to tell me you unsubscribe. Just unsubscribe yourself. If you don't got nothing good to say, just don't say nothing at all. I don't need people bashing me in my comments and hating on me in my comments due to the fact that I'm speaking on all truth, not just certain truth, not just little bits of truth. I'm speaking on the whole thing. We ain't gonna say too much, do too much. I want y'all to check out these tweets that Malik had to say to his brother, Barry Sotorero. He said, I just wanted to be fake as a snake. President Barry Sotorero, big brother, but he rejected me. He, President Barry Sotorero, is fake as a snake and he is a traitor. And right below that tweet, he also continues to go on and say that his brother, Barry Sotorero, sold his soul to the devil, y'all. What y'all think is really going on? Do y'all believe this individual? He has been very close to this little whole situation, this whole scene. So y'all let me know down in the comments. Not only that, when certain people ask, how can they reconcile with Barry? He tweeted, you can't. This guy thinks he's God. He's already tried. That was very interesting. And he also mentioned the Nobel Peace Prize as well, but he doesn't mention the kill list. Y'all help me understand why does he have so much hate for his brother? Not only that, he, this same individual is now endorsing the other side. This same individual is endorsing the opposition y'all let me know what's really going on or are they all in cahoots is this just part of the plan let's keep in mind that barry and big mike were very close friends with osama but check this out let's not forget that barry was able to send 1.7 billion dollars in cash to iran and nobody in congress the fbi or the justice called for any investigation y'all let me know what's really going on and if you know the insider about the noble peach pride please drop in the comments as well what your thoughts is on him always speaking on that and never speaking on anything else if you're functioning with me on a weekly daily monthly basis then you already understand that clear eyes always recognize real lies and until next time i'm always gonna have mo why though